Hello, Kobolds, and welcome back. Today, or tonight, or whatever time it is for you, we're going to be playing Queen of Moths, which looks very interesting. It's another horror type, and I really like these because these tend to have, or at least a lot of them, tend to present some kind of like distinct sort of visual style, and I just like seeing what they have to offer. So, yeah. Let's go. The train stops at the station where you are to transfer. It's dark. <laughs> it's a dark, cold night. Fortunately, you only have to wait a few minutes for the next train. Ooh, it's got that kind of like gives you an actual idea of what to click on. Okay. This is very interesting. There's like a very small visual space for it and then the text down at the bottom. I like this though. This is really pretty. I wish I could hide a little bit more of myself so you could see the rest of it, but I'm sorry. You'll have to deal with it for now. <laughs> you grab the handle. You won't be able to get inside. The door is locked. Okay. So I guess we can't go back into the station. Smoke a cigarette? Don't smoke a cigarette. Ooh, some spicy, spicy choices. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna smoke a cigarette. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna puff the 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 tab the tabacs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you pull out a pack of cigarettes and a moment later you inhale the acrid smoke. Everything is dark. So you stare at the only source of light. An old orange lamp. Wow, I really like the background sound for this too. It's very unnerving and unsettling. There's something oddly hypnotic about it. Stare, stare, whoa. Stare, 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 stare. Suddenly, you see movement next to it. Flutter, 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 flutter. Oh, that is very creepy. The great moth bounces against the lamp in its mad dance. I think I know someone who would appreciate this moth game. Hello? Wait, despite what you thought, someone besides you is also waiting at the station. Oh, so not everything necessarily is denoted as a, like a clickable thing. You kind of just have to click at your own curiosity, I suppose. Approach him. Do not approach him. Ooh, let's go say hi to our buddy, our train station buddy. You are approaching a man. He looks up at you. There's something disturbing about his face. He looks like Kujo Jotaro a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I don't know why, to me. I, I Maybe it's like the... I don't know what it is at first. <laughs> oh, are you waiting to... I don't know if this is the man speaking or we're speaking. Yes, yes, that's right. Yes, yes. Everyone's waiting. They wait and wait. What do you mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. No, I just... I am waiting. Not quite knowing what to answer, you look around anxiously. So I think the other other characters are denoted by the quotes, but our, all our vocals and inner thoughts are just presented normally, without any quotes. You look around anxiously. When you want to look at the strange man again, he is no longer there. Disappeared. It's impossible for him to leave without you noticing. And yet, you are alone again. A very strange thing, very disturbing. You're standing at the station. Oddly enough, you start to feel the warmth on your face. It's like the bright summer sun is shining. It reminds you of a holiday. Fast trips. Past trips, excuse me. Wonderful, warm days without worries. We are remembering. It's summer. The sun is shining bright. People are walking around the station, waiting for their trains. In the distance, you see your mother calling you with a smile on her face. <gasps> mom, where's mom? Wait, in the distance, mom, are you this tree, mom? The forest surrounding the station smells like holidays and freedom. You watch the train go by. You wonder where they're, you wonder where they're going. It did say they going, but I'm assuming that's a typo. You are walking towards your mother. It's time to get on the train. What a colorful- <laughs> That's the most ADHD thing I've ever seen in my life! <laughs> what a wonder- what a colorful bird! Get on the train. What are these people talking about? <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> for a moment, you watch a small bird hopping around for food in the grass. Your mother's voice snaps you out of your thoughts. A little dog- <laughs> Little dog! <laughs> We're super ADHD! What a nice lady. Get on the train. Little dog! You approach a little dog who's very happy to see you. I'm assuming we're supposed to be like very, very little in this little flashback here. I'm very happy to see you. It jumps up, wagging its tail vigorously. You laugh and stroke its hood. However, you don't hear your mother's voice this time. 
it is the silence that draws your attention. As you get closer, you see that something is wrong. Your mom isn't getting on the train. She stares at you. Her eyes turn red. The glow of fire oozes from them. You feel the fire's hungry. You, you feel that the fire's hungry, or you feel the fire's hunger? Oh! Great! The whole world around you fades. My, what big red eyes you have. Those look very demonic. Darkness and cold devour the summer day. You're not a kid anymore. You understand that. It's just you and those burning eyes and the skull of some creature. A wall of unhuman fear growl grows between you. Hunger. 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 You don't hear anything, but you know what the creature is thinking. You know what this being feels. Uncontrollable. Overwhelming hunger. It all comes down to just those burning eyes and a feeling of hunger. You feel as if you are surrounded by black wings that separate you from the west rest of the world. It engulfs you as if you were the property of this inhuman being. Uh, oh, yo. <laughs> There's the moth. Is this the moth, mommy? I'm s I, Anyway, you heard nothing. Oh. Our flashback is over. When you open your eyes, clenched in horror, you see that you are standing at the station. Again. Same place. Same night. Same winter. Oh, is there something in the snow? Oh, you see footprints in the snow. Something bad is going on here. Something very bad. You don't want to be alone. What is that? Are those tracks of, like... That's so wild. I can't tell if those are two sets of tracks or if that's like almost something like wing-like kind of trailing behind with the other person, with the person's left foot. Or if it's two separate ones. Oh, you don't know why, but you follow a strange man straight into the forest. So is this, I'm guessing this is the man before. I'm guessing that's the man from before. Complete darkness surrounds you strangely quickly. Suddenly, you realize you don't know where you are. Whoa! Bunch of question marks. You notice something dispelling the darkness. Did we get lucky? <laughs> Streaks of blue, slightly glowing fog flow around you. After a while, the fog illuminates the dark forest around you with a ghostly glow. Ooh. Hello? Strange man, where are you, strange man? Yo! This is so cool and creepy. I like this. <laughs> Hello? Moth? Moth Mommy? Where are you? <laughs> Demonic Moth Mommy and Strange Man Fellow. Oh! What the hell is that? It's like the man turned into a tree. What you see in front of you is not just a tree. You see a face and hands and almost human form. It does not move. Perhaps it is a sculpture? Hello? Uh, should we try to talk to you? You cautiously approach the strange object. You reach out to touch the sculpted face. You feel a strange, sticky warmth emanating from it. The warmth you associate with rotting. When you touch the surface of this face with your fingertip. Oh, hello. <laughs> My, what um, strange amber eyes you have. The ghastly, yet living eyes open. You want to run, but your body refuses to obey you. You can't even blink. The whole world collapses to the fire of putrefaction burning in those inhuman eyes. You fight for every breath as your mind sinks into sa salutary insanity. I... Is that... I've never read that word before. Suddenly, a thought pops into your head that doesn't belong to you. Do not run away. There is no... Wait, we get to choose? That's very, very interesting, honestly. We get to choose the thought that pops into our head. Are we trying to... Hmm... You know what? Let's fight back. Fight! You are struggling with all your might. You feel your strength leaving you. You're barely breathing anymore. Oh, did we just pass out? You feel your muscles stiffen. The skin becomes harder and rougher. Bones crack, lengthen, and split apart, tearing flesh. You want to scream, but you can't. You are unable to move. 
The bones are ripped out of the body, stick into the ground, and grow deeper and deeper into it. You won't run away from here anymore. You become part of this nightmare forest. You are the forest. You drink your own blood from the frozen soil through the roots. You stop seeing yourself. You are the roots. You are the branches. You are the juices that flow lazily through the boughs of your body. You are the forest. The end. Or just the beginning. <laughs> That's so cool. I really enjoyed reading that. Um, there's not really a whole lot in terms of, like, gameplay necessarily, but there are some interesting choices and things to click on and stuff like that that I feel like separates it from other visual novels. This is one where I'm not going to try to go and find all the endings or anything like that. I urge you to go ahead and play that because I'm actually kind of curious what other sort of endings and things that there are. I don't really necessarily have any sort of feedback, but like I kind of said for other visual novels, I do kind of wish that there was a bit more of distinction between yours and other voices as more than just maybe the quotes are nice. Having quotes around other people's thoughts or vocals is good. I do kind of wish that people would do use more color coordinating for when things are like spoken. So like when there's dialogue between people, having colors denote the speakers, or at least that there's a distinction between the speakers anyway. But that's just kind of my own little personal, 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 tiny personal grievances aside. This is very enjoyable, like the art. It definitely had some creepy moments. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Again, I always appreciate it, Cobalt. Love y'all, and see you next time.